Hey guys, Greg Riley here. Today I want to talk about something I saw the other day, uh, which sort of just, I get. But it's about girl boss and you can have it all. Like, there's this message going out that, you know, you can be a girl boss and you can have everything you want. You can have the career, you can have the family, you can have the relationship, you can have the money, you can have you can have it all, right? So I want to sort of just talk about today and, and the lies. <laughs> That's about that because I see what happens. But first of all, I want to say thank you for watching my channel. Uh, if you like the content, I'd love you to subscribe because there's a lot more to come. We go, we talk about some pretty controversial stuff, but it's all about to you know make you a better person and delve into the spiritual aspect of life and you know take on be, becoming you know the highest version of yourself. But let's get into this stuff, right? So the girl boss message, and you can have it all. <laughs> Statistically, um, if you look at statistics these days. Uh, and the amount of people on antidepressants, the biggest increase in the use of antidepressants is women over 35 who are single, who are unmarried, not in a relationship, and have a career. So that's one. And the second part is two-thirds of m most parents, dual-income couples, have burnout. Uh, and so we're sending sort of the wrong message to, to people that they can have it all because, and I want to talk specifically in having children and having families, because you can't. It's okay if you're single and you're chasing that stuff, go for it. It's no issue with it because you, it's got yourself. But when it turns into having a relationship and having a family, this is where it goes belly up, right? And because you, you are... There's this message coming out that you can have it all and you cannot because bringing a child into this or children into this world is one of the greatest gifts you can have, one of the greatest things you can do, but it's also your greatest responsibility. And to think that you can chase a career 100% and raise a family and keep a relationship together, you're kidding yourself. There are compromises and there has to be because bringing a child in to this life is a responsibility, especially from the ages of zero to seven, where it's where you set the child up as an adult. And what we see these days is people chasing careers over their children. And we're also making motherhood a second class citizen. We're saying, you know, culturally that if you're a stay at home mum, you're not worthy. You're not contributing. The biggest gift you can have is to be a parent and to be present. And there are sacrifices for that. And people don't think about this. People just go, I can have a child, I can have a family, but I can also chase the career. And this is where it all falls down because children between the ages of zero and seven, they need presence. They need connection. They need love. They need to be able to connect with you as a human being. They need to be able to teach them. And if you're choosing your career over your children, that's when I get to see your teenagers. That's when I get to see those young adults. Because the story was, my dad was never around. My mum was never around. They were off chasing their career. What did you do? I spent all my time in daycare five days a week from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. And then when we got home, mum and dad were too stressed out they were you know, hyper-vigilant. They were burnt out because they were chasing their careers. So then what happens is they have no time for their children. And their children are alienated. And that child then creates a belief inside their head that I'm not worthy or I'm not enough. Or my parents don't love me because they haven't got the time and the presence to sit there and spend this time with their children and to mold them and teach them and mentor them and you know create this great experience for them because we're chasing a fucking career. Like, seriously, people. The, the message about you can have it all is, is factually incorrect. It's a compromise. It seriously is. And we need to realize that the message that's being sent out that... You can only be valuable as a female if you've got a career. Is creating so many women on antidepressants and on the brink of burnout because they think their only value is if I have a career. And let me tell you, and this is another part, on to the second part. 
If you're 35 years old and you're single and you're looking for a, a partner, I can tell you now, if you want a high value man, he does not care about your career. Because a high value man is looking for a wife, looking for someone to create a family with, looking for someone to be able to be nurturing and kind and gentle and to create, create a family. And if your only interest is having career, he's not going to marry you because high value men don't want that. They do not care about your career. And that may be controversial. That may piss a few people off. It may just make some people pretty bloody angry. But it's the way. You know, if you've got a, a mid-30s, 40-year-old man who's looking to start a family and start a, a deep relationship, you, you, you interview 10 people, 10 blokes who are looking for that. Your career is not in the top 10. Because what they're looking for is somebody who's nurturing, not somebody chasing a career who's wearing pants and cutting their hair short, right? Because what's happening is becoming over-masculinized in the corporate world. So we are looking for something different. And this is, again, it's like this, you can have it all, right? It's the wrong message. And we're not thinking too far ahead with this stuff. And it's creating completely... Sad stories of women who have got careers, who have got money, and who've got a cat. And when it all falls apart, and it will, there's no one there for you. Like there is nobody there for you but your cat, and your career, and your money. And that leads to a very, very sad place. So you can be very, very, very careful believing that you can have it all, especially in today's society where you're being told that success is purely what you have, what you do for a job, how much money you have, what clothes you have, your bank balance, your title, your status, your Instagram followers, all that stuff, because it's all fake. And I see enough of it. I can't tell you the people I see come here and say, I'm having a breakdown. And if you want to look at an example of that, Erin Deering, look her up. The owner of Triangle. Had a breakdown. Created this global empire. And it all fell apart. Didn't cope. And, you know, to her credit, she's, <laughs> she's learnt from her mistakes. But, you know, you've got to understand that the messaging that you've been given as a female that you can have it all is fraught with danger because there are choices, especially if you want to have a family. Do you want to have a family where it's you're spending, you know, you're both working and you've got your kids in daycare from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. five days a week and then you come home and you're exhausted because you, you, you can't check out from work because you've got this career? You're not present. You're reading a story to them, but you're not doing anything. You're thinking about work. Kids pick up on that stuff. What happens is the kid, as I said before, makes up a story inside their head that I don't matter. And then they try and compensate to get you to listen to them, which will be them acting out. So, you know, it's, you've got to take some very serious consideration of this stuff. And you know what? People may not like this you know, video. They actually may not like it. Don't care. Right? This is what happens. And if you think that you can have it, go for it. But when it comes crashing down, don't say I told you so. Because society is a bit screwed up these days. Because we place all our value on some stuff that's, you know, not really important because the greatest gift you can have is to bear children and to raise them and to be with them and be present and to love them and care for them, teach them, mold them, accept them for who they are, see them growing up. It's vital those years between zero and seven, vital. If you don't get that right, <laughs> you're so far behind the ball, it's not funny. 
And most people miss that because, you know, I've heard stories of people in daycare calling their daycare people mummy and daddy. Well, mummy, not daddy. Because they spend all their time there. They've got more relationship with their daycare teachers than they do with their parents. Like I said before, the parents come home and they're so preoccupied with their work, they're not even present. And then relationships fall down. Because you're, you know, striving to be this thing. So, so just, just be very, very careful when you do that, is that if, you know, not if, when someone comes to see me in this position, the first thing I'll say to them is, what lifestyle do you want? What do you want to create? Do you want to bring children in the world? This is what, this is what you know, impact. This is what's going to do. What's your choice? Because there's cause and effect with this stuff. And it's a very honest conversation. If you want to bring the children into this, into this world and have that responsibility, there come compromises. And some of that is that you may need to make some pretty bad choice or pretty bold choices about what you want to do. Do I want to be selfish? Because if you do, why have kids? Not seriously. If you're going to do that, have them six months later, they're in daycare and you're off chasing a career. Why have them? Why do I seriously have children? Like, there's no point. And, you know, so you got to seriously think about the impact of your choices. And it may be hard to hear. It may be tough to sort of do that. And again, you might not agree with what I've got to say. But I see it. And I see it with my clients. Complete burnout, complete breakdown, and complete disenchantment. As I said before, look at the stats. Women, over 35, dropping antidepressants like they're smarties. Because they can't cope. And then you, you know, you've got the part of you which is your innate ability to be a parent and nurture and you're chasing a career. So, so just have a very serious think about the messaging that you're being shown about. You can have it all. You can girl boss it, all that stuff. Because the people giving that advice, they're not very smart. They're telling you a lie. And that's the thing. Is it's it's not necessarily <laughs> the right thing you should do. Um, and you need to weigh it up heavily. But if you do do it, you need to accept the consequences. Because it's your choice. And if you do make that choice, you have to own it. Absolutely have to own it. And so... I may have offended a few people because I don't care. I see it every day. And this is something that needs to be talked about because it, I see it all over Instagram. I see it all over Facebook. I see it over you know, TikTok and all that kind of stuff about, you know, you can do it all. But just be warned. That messaging comes with some severe downsides. So, hope you like this. If you didn't, still comment, right? Can say I'm completely wrong. That's okay. But I'm sure there's a few people that kind of just get it. And but again, I hope you you know see what I'm trying to say here. Um, because the other, what I'm really saying here is it's about the kids. It's really about if you bring a, you know a family in this, into this world, you got to think outside yourself. Is a, is a bigger part to life than just you now. And they need, especially when they're young, they need you around. They need your presence. They need your time and love and connection. Otherwise, you're going to have some kids with some rather serious problems. And that's on you if that happens. So, hope you like it. And again, if you want to subscribe to the channel... I'll talk more about some of the stuff like this. And uh, yeah, I uh, will see you in the next video. See you guys later.